Alright, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to the conference championship. This is a big game, man. We're trying to go back to back and speaking of back to back, look who won on the NFC side of things. The Lions, 10-7 and this season. This is who we played last year in the Super Bowl. They take down the Eagles in a close one, 35-31, setting up the possible rematch and speaking of rematches we are playing the chargers you guys all know what happened last season if you don't i highly recommend going back and watching that but again we're focused on this right here and he's onside kicking man are we seriously going to come out and onside kick to, to start really And I understand that I'm going to get the inevitable comments that like, why did you quit out? Like, you should have just kept playing. Like, I know it's scummy, but why did you quit? And obviously, I was pretty upset the night that it happened. I messaged the guy. I was like, are you serious right now? Like, are we really going to play like this? We can't just play straight up. You're going to have to pull out this like scummy tactic to start the game. This guy decided he would cross the line, go to my girlfriend's Twitter. He found my girlfriend's Twitter and then grabbed a tweet from like the day before saying that she had been denied from her, her graduate program. And uh, he decided that he would insult her intelligence. Again, I don't know, understand what this has to do with Madden. Pick, a, pick the damn ball up. Pick the damn ball up. Come on, man. Now he's going to get real nervous. I promise. Apply the pressure to this sorry ass and just beat the brakes off of him. Come on, Pitts! Come on, man! Go up and get it, Pitts! I'll pause for you so you can quit. Bye! There was a lot of drama involved. Let's go ahead, deal with some things. We're jumping into the game, man, and we're moving on to the Super Bowl. So, a quick peek at the playoff bracket. Now, obviously, I already just discussed the Lions are moving on past the Eagles in the NFC Championship. The Lions actually beat the Falcons. I was kind of surprised about that one. A comfortable margin as well, 16 points. I told you guys, the Falcons user Wesley is one of the best pro players in the entire world. So a bit of an upset there. Not, not a huge one, but a little bit. And then the Saints lost the Eagles by again, four points. Close game over on the left-hand side. The Browns lose by seven. We obviously beat the Raiders by seven. So a lot of close games here setting up a really good championship series here man let's go ahead do some upgrades take a look at the chargers roster and then we're ready to go so we have some weekly awards to take a look at we actually got both offense and defensive player of the week andre johnson jr six receptions for almost 200 yards and two receiving touchdowns isaiah simmons our user had three tackles two interceptions one of them being a pick six and then look at watson and devin white for the lions in the nfc so some really nice awards there man i think we should get some xp boost for that obviously it won't have a huge effect on the game it's just nice to see now we have a press conference about a hot opponent and we all know how this goes they give plus 10 insult opponent or be confident we're gonna be confident this time last time we went with the insults and obviously it didn't really pay off the other team got a huge boost our team got a small boost i think if you pick be confident both teams get plus 10, plus 10 break tackle, play rec, and a tackle. And of course, our team gets it as well. So kind of just evens it out for both teams. Snap the streak, beat the Chargers to steal their momentum. All right, so we have some upgrades here to make. And actually, none of these guys play. So let's go ahead, just auto upgrade these guys and just skip right by it. Now, everyone in this league says the Chargers have the best roster. It's not even close. And if you guys remember from last season, man, 99 speed Tyreek Hill is an absolute menace. He's impossible to stop. Keenan Allen at tight end is a 99 overall. And I'm, I think I'm afraid of this guy, Daniel Jones, 88 speed. And it's not something you typically say, man, I'm afraid of Daniel Jones, but he is 88 speed. He has Omaha X Factor. He's a skate artist, gunslinger. He's going to be an, uh, he's just gonna be a nightmare to deal with. The same with Tyreek Hillman. I mean, that is a crazy offense right there. Tyreek, Keenan, Daniel Jones, Julio Jones as well. Chandler Jones. This is the guy who has all the Jones on his team. Josh Allen has abilities. Hassan Reddick has abilities. Lane Johnson has abilities. So does Nate Hobbs. So does Dawkins. I mean, look at this guy's team. George Pickens is a 93 speed receiver with abilities. This guy has, oh, look. 
Kenyon Green, another superstar tackle. Everyone on Troy Apke has abilities. I mean, everyone has abilities. This guy has like 15 or 20 players with superstar. He definitely has a team advantage. Listen, I love my team, but that is absolutely insane. One of the best rosters I've ever seen in the second season. We're going to have an uphill battle to fight right here. All right, here we are in SoFi Stadium. This is a matchup for the ages, man. Will he get his revenge or will we go back to back? Some crazy storylines going on in this one. Okay, listen, I completely blanked out because I was talking to the camera, but last year he started the game off by onside kicking me. That was basically what kicked off the whole thing. This time he didn't do it. I was ready to hit timeout though. I remembered at the last second. All right, let's drive down. Let's get seven. Let's have a great opening drive. Touchdown, man. Come on, on the post, Jeff Smith. Make a miss. Let's go. That is a dot. What was that, like 63 yards right there? Crazy math skills. Crazy passing skills. Let's make sure we make the extra kick. All right. I can't get away with talking too much because that's how I miss these extra points. That is a beautiful pass, man. All right, there we go. Accurate kicks only, baby. 7-0. Let's get a stop on defense. Another run. Shoot the gap. Yes, sir. We're right there. Come on. Oh, that is a cover three cloud. I think it's maybe because I clicked on and moved him back, but that shouldn't be happening. That is literally cover three cloud. That is a safety 20 yards off the line getting burned. That just shouldn't happen. I don't know if that was a result of me getting clicked on and, and accidentally moving him off his route or, or what it was, but... Uh, that play just got all messed up because I was stuck in the line. That's fine, man. I liked our defense. You could tell he wasn't very very comfortable passing against it and running on first and second down and primarily being a passing player. So we're going to try the same defense again next drive, and if we get bombed again, then we'll adjust. But... I think it might have just been my fault taking my user out of the play. Ah, that was really good coverage right there. He sent the blitz. We knew it was coming. That was almost scary, man. Maybe I threw it a second too late. I wanted to make sure we weren't too far behind the line of scrimmage right there. Perfect play call. Again, we knew the blitz was coming. Dial one up. That is a laser, and we needed that one badly, ladies and gentlemen. Some check down. Okay. I love this. I love this. Just a, I don't know what's going on in my field right now. We're going to snap the ball, though. Oh, we had a lot of stuff open, but he sends the blitz once again. He loves the blitz. We got to know that, recognize that, try to pick it up and take advantage of the zones that he's he's just leaving out there. Touchdown right there on the deep crosser, Andre Johnson Jr. A great drive, especially that composure on fourth down, man. We're going back to the defense I was just running, all right? If we get bombed again, we'll change it, but I got to see it twice. No, I accidentally ran commit. Oh, that was really bad for me. I accidentally ran commit. We just give him a free touchdown. I am playing terrible defense right now, making mental mistakes. We cannot be doing this. We cannot be doing this. Came back. We got to play smarter on defense. We're having great offensive drives, and then we're just giving them two free touchdowns here on offense or on defense. Okay, okay, way to find the open running back. There we go, okay, Matt, come on. Ah, we knew he was going to blitz, play hard flats. Hobbs did a great job of breaking up that pass, though. Maybe I just rack it or possession catch it instead? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Oh, please don't be a pick. No, man. Another mental mistake right there. Pressing the wrong button. Uh, making a lot of mental mistakes right now, man. We got to clean it up. We got to clean it up. We're still in a decent spot here, though. Got to play smarter, though. He splits the cover three. Good dot right there, man. That sequence of events, man. We got to clean it up. We're, we're just making it way too easy on him right now. Doesn't even have to try. Oh, we need to throw that block. If we throw that block, man, it's a touchdown. Come on. Maybe I should have held up a second longer. We got to make this the last drive, man. Probably could have gotten another 10, 15 yards right there, but got to make this the last drive if we want to win. Oh, everyone got pancake too, man. Come on. We got to block the user. Oh, I thought we had a lane right there, boys. Still a good run, though. We don't want to score. We had a walk-in touchdown, but this guy's this guy's too high power to give him the ball back with any time. Dot, back corner of the end zone. We managed the clock perfectly as well. Only 14 seconds left. He has no timeouts. Let's kick our extra point. We did a great job of battling back from our turnover, man. We had a very sloppy first half. The sloppiest first half you could possibly ever have. And we should be going into a tide. Knock on wood. And we made up for our turnover with great clock management, man. We made this the last drive. We took all six minutes. Let's go ahead, kick our extra point. All right, there we go, man. Come on now. Let's sky kick. Take a couple extra seconds off. We're playing prevent defense. We're not giving up any points before half. Fumble. Ooh, if we make contact, he might have fumbled. He might have made a huge mistake. But a great job there. Not giving up any points before half, man. Let's lock back in. Let's stop playing stupid defense, dude. He's had like four offensive plays. Can we make this guy work for once? Oh, this is gonna be, he's got Omaha now so he can see my defense. I mean, this is gonna be tough. Pick, oh my goodness, do that right to me. Oh man, it's just too easy, dude. It's so hard to get a stop in this game, and then on top of it, he has Omaha now. It's just incredibly, incredibly challenging. Well, that's going to cost us the championship, man. We throw a dot, and my guy just doesn't get his feet in bounds. That hurts, man. Made a good read, wide open. and Oh, that hurts, dude. Omaha escape artist. This is it's impossible to stop, man. It's impossible to stop. Wow. And they don't give him intentional grounding on that. He would have lost his Omaha. Wow, man. It's 
impossible, man. How did this guy not get intentional grounding last drive on that second down? But I get intentional grounding right there. Third and 20, man. Oh, my goodness. Had a player in the flats. Double me. Thank God he was glowing orange because I don't know if he makes that catch without it. All right, that was a big conversion on third down, man. We have a little bit of life. The problem is this guy can literally see my defense. It's hard to get a stop when he can see what adjustments you're making. I don't... I don't know how I'm gonna get a stop, man. It's gonna take a miracle. supposed to do man I just I don't have a chance I, I there's literally nothing I can do when I, I he can see my defense and know what I'm doing I don't know like there's just there's nothing I can do I just lose the game when he gets that oh, that's gonna do it man GG's GG's you know, we didn't play very well in the first half. I thought we played well enough, especially with the way we managed clock at the end of half to get back in the game. Unfortunately, man, just that throw went out of bounds. We couldn't get our feet in bounds, and that was obviously just kind of the point of the game where we just had no hope after that. The Omaha was activated. He had escape artists, so even if we got pressure, he was able to just escape it and roll around. Um, sucks, man, but it is what it is. That's going to do it for Season 2. Unfortunately, we will not go back-to-back, -back, but GG's. I don't know if there's a season three. I'll let you guys know if there is. Tough loss, though. We're moving on.